Now it's been over 20 years since the first Sony robot dog appeared, but Ibo is back. Now it launched in Japan late last year, but finally it's made its way to a Western press conference and, you know, the press conference. This is CES 2018. We've just finished Sony's big live event, and now we've decided to play with a robot puppy. Now, Sony believes that the new dog is capable of forming emotional bonds with its owners. Apparently, the more certain owners touch the dog and the more the dog recognizes them, the more it'll form an attachment to said owner. So it could be that your robot puppy likes, say, your wife more than yourself, which is kind of interesting. That said, no one owns one of these next generation Ibos just yet. People who pre-ordered it back in Japan are now finally getting them very soon. And there's still no word as to whether these will come to the US just yet. You'd also have to save up a fair bit of money to afford one. In Japan at least, the price tag comes to around $1,800, which is a whole lot of money. That's probably enough for one of Sony's very nice OLED TVs. Now obviously, 20 years is a lot of time in tech, and the next generation Ibo is so much smarter than the original. Not to mention those cute OLED eyes. The whole design of the dog is now more cuter. It's more like a puppy. It's got rounder edges. It's softer. It looks almost cartoonish. Inside the robot pup, you have Wi-Fi, you have LTE, you have sensors monitoring motion, you have sensors at the rear of the puppy, and the whole body is covered in various touch zones to detect touch, petting, and you know, just going, oh, right in its face. Now, the biggest problem you might have with your new robot pet is battery life. Sony says it's rated for two hours of play and it'll take another three hours to charge it back up to speed. But even that won't be enough to stop some of you wanting one. The Ibo is now available in Japan and there's still no word on an international release, but stay tuned to Engadget for more.